guys, it's Kelly, and today I'm making a video, Five Haunted Hotspots in Hollywood. So, I have some stuff written down on a piece of paper, so let's get started. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, it's will be popping stuff off, popping stuff off on the screen, pictures and stuff. And, um, I might have to use the app, as you know, I've used an app before, but it makes, like, the picture not as big, like, full screen, and I'm sorry about that. If you guys reckon have any other good editing apps I could use, I can do that. You know, we'll mess up the picture, let me know. Anyways. So, first on the list is the Roosevelt Hotel, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. That activity. Um, Montgomery Cliff. I don't know how to pronounce this. Montgomery Mont Cliff. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'll pop the name up on here. Stud. Stayed there while rehearsing his role for the 1953 movie From Here to Eternity. His ghost is set to play the trumpet and pace the hallway while learning his lines from room 928 nine, on the ninth floor. Claimed to see reap, and then others claim to have seen Marilyn Monroe reaping in the mirror next to an elevator. Um, I believe I've heard that they, they took the mirror out of there. I'm not sure. And I also, guys, too, I always encourage you to do more research on this. Watch videos. Because these places are just giving you, like, the main stuff. But there's probably other stuff, too. So, yeah. Um. This one is a studio. Col Culver Studios. Um, sorry if I'm talking really. I'm just, I walk kind of fast, so. What's his name? Thomas Incy's famous studio. So it was his studio apparently, and he died in the mysterious circumstances. The birth of the yacht uh, of 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 a um, publisher named Will Randolph. Some people, um, Will Randolph, sorry, Hurst, Hurstus, Hurst. So I'm bad at pronouncing names sometimes. And people say, people thought that, like, um, Will shot him. Um, so he walks through, he, he walks through walls and, like, creates poltergeist activity every time there's new management of the studios. So, yeah. Like I said, these books don't have much. These are just little things that came from the book. So, I, like I said, I encourage you to do more research on it. Next is... Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Oh, no, wait, that makes sense for the next one. Um, actor Clifton, Clifton Reb haunts, haunts the Abbey of the Pelonsum Maus Mausoleum. Like I said, I'll, I'll put it up there. Um, strange, there's reported of strange herbs, drafts of cold air, and the smell of of a cologne which i'll put the name of here because it's like a weird name it almost seems like it's a french name i'm not sure um look and also a woman who is a fan of of um rudolph valentino's tomb woman sorry i messed up a woman is a lot of times seen kneeling at the tomb of randolph valentino um she was a she was oh yeah she was a dedicated fan and leaves a rose before she disappears like i said i am sorry that i'm i'm just like as i do more of these i'll get better i'm just bad at this especially because i'm hard to read my hand right i could just probably get from the book most likely next is the number four pantino's pantages theater Late night, people came to hear the spirit of a fem female fan who died during the screening in 1932. Um, and there was a live performance in 94 where her voice could be picked up in the mic. Um, some say Howard Hughes, who bought the theater in 1949, haunts the, what's it, the second floor offices. So, yeah. Um, and this last one I was shocked about is Paramount Studios. Um, 
set the silent cinemas hot throb Randolph Rudolph I don't know how you say his name Randolph Rudolph it's 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 spelled Rudolph so I'm just gonna say Rudolph Valentino who two we just mentioned is buried in the forever cemetery there I mentioned at number three he is said to um the, he has said to be seen in his robes from the movie he did called where is it on here called the sh I cannot put like I said it would be on screen and the ghost of Heather or Wookiee sorry if I pronounced the last name wrong she was the little girl from Poltergeist if you remember from Poltergeist she died at the age of 12 it's said to run along the catwalks where she played between her takes so yeah those were the places but that little girl what I know about her death is she had like an intestinal issue like something to do with her intestines because she wasn't pooping apparently this is what just what I heard and like she ended up dying because I think her intestines like exploded because she had like a blockage, I'm not sure, an infection, something like that. Um, but that movie was said to be haunted, if you guys don't know. It is said that like, um, so I'll do these with fast. I thought it would be a bit of a longer video. But anyways, um, yeah, it's said that it's haunted because um, I remember to hearing the oldest girl who played in there, the sister of Heather in the movie. I don't know her name in the movie, but uh, the oldest one girl, her boyfriend ended up killing her in real life. So that movie is said to be cursed. Um, but yeah, I didn't think this very long because there's not much in the book. What I just do with the book? Dude, why don't I just do it? Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't know what page I was on. Right here. No five hot spots in front. Here, um, like let me just show you guys. Look, in. there's not much right, written in here, anyways, and I didn't say everything from these columns because you know, like I said, I encourage you to do more research on them. I've heard of the Roosevelt Hotel, that being haunted. I have you no know, Paramount Studios, but I don't know that was supposedly haunted. But yeah, there's more like of those in here too. Like there's one from France, Five Myst Mystics. South Asian Asian legends. So if you want to hear more about that, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Please subscribe, please like, please go subscribe to my other channel. Because tomorrow on that channel, McDougal and I get to video if all goes well. Um, anyways guys, see you in the next video. When I mean all goes well, because um, he have, because if he doesn't, hopefully he doesn't upload it too late. Because if, if not, then if the video will be coming out Wednesday. You know, because sometimes it will upload late, later. Then, I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, it doesn't matter. But yeah, but go subscribe to my other channel in the description. See you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.